Hey, I'm Sutoni. I'm joined by Brett Thomas Thomas. I'm going to introduce the Team Footwork team. They have Apoc, Prophecy, Augur, Algus, and Rifter, and they've all come at 50 to the beacon. I'm going to introduce the Nasty Boys team. They've come in in an Apoc, Prophecy, Augur. No, I'm going the other way around. They brought the Rogue, Cyclone, Scythe, Talwar, Slasher. Whereas the Rogue and the Cyclone have come in at zero, as well as that. Uh, as well as the Slasher, you see the Scythe and the Tower are both coming at mixed ranges. Yeah, and it, se it seems like they, they really want to get this Rogue and this Cyclone on top of this team. What uh, what the Nasty, Bo Nasty Boys team want to do is they want to just snipe things down with that APOC. The Scythe can probably uh, mitigate some of the damage from that APOC, but I mean, it, it's probably not going to be able to keep the, uh, the Tower or the Cyclone alive forever. We see damage already on Lady Aryan. Uh, it's taking quite a lot of damage, actually. That Scythe is buffer tanked. He doesn't have an Ectal ASP like the Osprey. Yeah, you can see that the, the huge range that this APOC brings, it's just sitting there, piloting away, and just shooting its long-range ammo at the Scythe, trying to get its shields down and get it killed early. Although we see damage on the Cyclone now as it starts to burn in. It is tired. It's scram-webbed by this Albos. That is just now sitting at it at about 1k range, as well as the Rifter scramming it. Yeah, the the uh, the Rifter is actually taking. Uh, sorry, the Algus is actually taking a lot of damage now. It is scrammed and Web Basher, which has picked him up to probably try and get him off the Cyclone. Uh, Cyclone also taking a lot of damage though. He does have an XLSB, but it looks like he's running it permanently on top of the Scythe reps. It it looks like he he can hold, but as soon as he runs out of those uh, charges, he's gonna go down here. Quite quickly, August seems to be stabilizing. He doesn't seem to. He's breaking slowly, but he's not going to break fast enough. Yeah, this the scythe is just burning back in, trying to get into that twenty seven k range that its reps have got. Because compared to armor, shield have a very very small optimal and quite a long fall off. So it's just burning in nice and close to get that max amount of rep. But by if you look at it right now, it's burning in too close. It's close to that. It's close to both the frigates, and everything is now burning towards it. Yeah, but saying that, they, they were able to clear off that Algus. That Cyclone is no longer tackled, so he's actually stabilizing. He's, he should be able to move away and maybe get away from the drones that are on him. Uh, Slasher is taking damage, but it seems like he's getting reps. The Cyclone is uh, taking damage again, but because he broke that tackle, it, it seems like he's, he's doing so much better. The Rift is now scrammed and webbed by the Slasher. The Rifter might be going down uh, shortly here. If the Rifter dies, they don't really have that much tackle or uh, ships left the screen off the Roke and the Cyclone, which will probably be com coming in as soon as that, cy that Cyclone will probably regen his an ancillary and then come back in at a later point. Yeah, this Roke is burning, uh, burning up to the APOC because compared to last season, this season it doesn't have any tracking computers. So anything... Like an Abaddon, if anything gets underneath its guns and gets close, it's going to have a real trouble hitting it. And the Cyclone is webbed, but it's scrammed the APOC and is just getting closer and closer. But the Cyclone is in low structure now. It's just starting to drop. I don't. Yeah. I think the Scythe is much too... Uh, way too far out of range to keep reps on it, and the Cyclone has just dropped. Yeah, it seems like you I was just trying to make a play, like try to get under that uh, the Apox guns. The Cyclone has a pretty decent speed and it's pretty low sig too. So if if he could have stabilized a bit, I think he probably could have got under that Apox drones. But with that tracking bonus, it's very difficult to uh, mitigate damage. It's, it still seems like it's pretty even here. Uh, the, the Rogue is scrammed and webbed by the Rifter, and they need to clear this Rifter off. I think otherwise the Rogue's not going to be able to get anything done. You've got to watch through the entirety of that. The APOC was just ignoring the Cyclone as it was burning for it. It was just keep shooting, trying to shoot the Scythe, trying to shoot the Tower, anything that it could actually track. Well, the Prophecy of your watch was following behind it, just firing its heavy missiles at it to try and take that Cyclone down. And the, what the Prophecy is doing now is it's burning around this rock, trying to stay out of range, and you can just see it just trying to stealthily sneak up on the Scythe to see if it notices. Because if it can get a Scram or a Web on this Scythe, this APOC's going to hit for so much, and it's just going to go down easily. Yeah, he's also doing a good job of making making sure he's giving links to the front line ships like the Rifter and the Augra there. The APOC didn't get the link, but he doesn't need it right now. But it, the, yeah, prophecy's, the prophecy's burning in for tackle now on this side. It, it knows what's happened, it's around the rock, it's in the perfect position, and it's going in. 
Yeah, so I think he's going to get tackle here. This is a very good play from the prophecy. It looks like he is going to be able to t take the scythe. I think scythe is m reacting now. The scythe is no, he's not MWDing yet. Uh, it hasn't even noticed. It's just snuck around the outside, and it's not as if the towel war can do anything. The towel war is not fit with the scrammer or web or any type of tackle. It just has damage and buffer, and that's it. As the prophecy gets within scram web wage on the scythe, and the scythe oh. is now scram webbed and tackled by this prophecy completely. Yeah, the, the Slasher has picked up a uh, Scram on the Augra, but it is a dual prop ship, so the Augra being Scrammed is not the worst for the Augra. So this ro this Rogue is just trying to grapple this Rifter, try and get enough damage on the Rifter that it goes down, but have we seen the heavy guns just cannot do anything to frigates? As the Scythe now drops into armor, it's just taking so much damage from this Prophecy and this APOC combo, and it's down. Yeah, I think I think Nastoys are just dominating here. Um, that scythe getting tackled was a pretty big misplay. The tower is now tackled too. He was right on top of the scythe, so the prophecy just immediately snap tackled him as soon as the scythe went down. A bad play from the tower, I think. Uh, he should have been uh, uh, as soon as the scythe went down. He should have been miles away from that prophecy. I think footwork just didn't pay attention. Uh, to the rest of the match, they were too focused on trying to get this rock out of tackle and trying to get this this uh, the horde of damage it has to actually be able to shoot anything. Because right now, if you look at it, it's just burning at forty nine meters per second. It just cannot move. It cannot shoot anything. Yeah, the, the, the Yorker looks like he might be in a bit of trouble here, but I think it's too little, too late. But by the time the Yorker dies, it's going down too slowly. I I think the Slash and the Rogue are going to be dead by then at least even if it I, it, even they don't really i mean i guess it's nice if they can keep the three points um looks like we've got some red bots arriving on the ogre now too so uh i think the ogre should be fine it's he's important not, to he's... notice that because it is dual prop that if the rogue if it gets too low and it takes too much damage this ogre can just burn 60 70 away from the rogue with its micro warp drive let itself rep in and come back in yeah, we just saw him break tackle now, so what will happen, you saw there, was the Prophecy came in, and he picked up the Slasher, and then the Augur was able to use his dual prop just to burn away from the Slasher's tackle. So now he's completely free. He will be able to MWD away from the Rogue if he chooses to. Looks like he's happy to just AB. With, with, if he's unwebbed, it seems like the Rogue's going to struggle to hit him. He's stabilizing his armor now as the Slasher and the Rogue... The Slasher's about to go down half hole. Slasher is gone, now it's just a Rogue with... Uh, Low shields. It's it's all about whether this rogue can be a hero and survive the two and a half minutes that we have left in this match. Well, Cannot... he's already used a, used five ancillary charges, so I don't think he's too long for the swords. I mean, you you have to believe. It's trying to shoot the slash right now, but it's obviously just failing to try and track it because this slasher is sitting at five hundred and dodging all the damage of. Uh, heavy hybrid weapons. Yeah, he he does have that grappler, but the the rogue is uh, scrammed and webbed. He isn't going to be able to uh, create enough speed himself to uh, be able to track this rifter that's on him. I don't think he can do anything else. I think he's uh, I think he's not. His his best chance really is to try and survive for two minutes, but he's already used up the vast majority of his ancillary charges. It seems so. I I, th I think this is going to go to Nasty Boys with a very convincing win and a few positioning areas, uh, errors rather, from uh, Team Footwork. Yeah, I, you could you could see they knew what they wanted to do with that uh, play by the Cyclone. I just didn't think it paid off well for them. I think they tried it too late. Once uh, once they killed the Algo Algos, it was just too late to try and get in and tackle everything. Yeah, the very good play from the prophecy. I think it's went around, got that scythe also coming in, and you know picking up tackle on the slasher so that his augur buddy can just get out, uh, saving saving them potentially three points as well there. So yeah, that's a, a pretty pretty convincing win from Nasty Boys. We'll send it back to Elise.